Greetings everybody, this is Skulker91 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part we finished off the uh, fire temple and now we're in the pretty much the most dreaded part of the game, the water temple. Well, no, we don't need to stop it, let's get to it. Pretty much this is the part, this is pretty much everyone's least favourite dungeon in the whole game. At least somewhat, at least, and this, at least what I can tell because this place is... Um, I'll say confusing. That's what that's what I could that's what I could that's what I could, that's what I'll say about it. Very confusing. Since you have to keep doing this, keep switching in and switching out for the, to, to the iron boots. This, that's pretty much what what well, one of the things I hate about it is that like you can keep switching in, you keep switching out. No, I do. I'm not gonna lie. This music's actually kind of, kind of nice. Very weird, but I like the soundtrack. Anyway, you gotta keep going forward. Apparently, Ruto is supposed to be here. Some. Oh, it's you. If I'm right, Ross. You're Ross, aren't you? It's me, your fiance, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. I don't remember being remember, remember to be seen yes to that and great uh, uh, like engagement seven years ago. I never forget that the vow we made to each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man to have me kept waiting for these seven young years. But now it's not the time to talk about love. Good. I've got a time and a place, time and a place. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's domain totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from the un under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not, have not yet. Well, I freeze your father. I want to save them all. I want to save the Zora Domain. You, you have to help me. This is the request from me, the woman who is going to be your wife. Ross, you have to help me destroy the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll leave the way, I'll leave the way, follow me quickly. Yeah. What she says is, what she, what she, yeah. Changing water levels. That trust me, that is the trust me, this is this is where Fiora's wind is gonna be very handy. And as we said she's swimming up. So take off your iron boots. And don't save. I can't remember because I don't remember to stop pressing B a lot. But yeah, after honestly, after this after this bit I sh it should be A okay. I also have to remember that bit as remember that bit as well. But here we are. Top of here. Now we can. Now we can hit. And. Oh, great. More enemies. Alright. Try to remember. Is there anything. Anything in here important? Also, can I. Oh, they're gonna hit me. Right, you. Rock. Die. Die, Rock. I don't know why they give me bonds. I don't know why they're giving me bonds. Can I repeat? Oh. Spikes. A very original name. But anyways, yeah. Alright, what's this? Is this for a special for anything? Probably just the map. And is it the uh, uh, map or the compass? Because there's no way you're going to get the dungeon item the first time. That's way too early. Anyways, we just got to... Oh, what the heck? Alright. Now, yeah, oh, we got, yeah, no, look at that, we got the map. Sorry, I just, sorry, I just saw a little bit of a, little bit of a spike there. Hmm, that's good. Hmm, might have to mute that bit if it comes in loud. You'll, you'll, you'll notice it. Anyways, right, right here. This right here. Well, I, should, I should have left the ocarina out. But I wasn't thinking, but I wasn't thinking at the head. Right, so what we need to do, you see this symbol? Get your ocarina out and then... Then Zelda's lullaby, and pretty much, what what happens? You'll see soon enough. Eventually. Uh, what? Okay, right close to it. Okay, okay. I had to be, I could, I had to be like right up in the wall. Okay, yeah, I can play my career right against the wall. Do do. Right. Down we go. 
Alright, there's what we need our bow for, pretty much. See, 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 a, see a torch that has to be lit, but we don't, but we can't use sticks. Well, we gotta use the next best thing, arrows. And there you go. Door is open. Do you wanna open, you do wanna open this way, because I believe there's, um... Oh, oh yeah, these are, what are these called? Shell, shell blades. Right, you gotta get, if you get a hook shot out, kill them one shot, that's... We gotta, we gotta be careful before they close their mouth or else they're gonna start charging towards us with their spikes. But yeah, there's a main reason why we gotta come in here. Which is, if we just do this. Bingo, we found ourselves a small key. Well, we, this is pretty much... Pretty much there's a bunch of keys around here everywhere, like up and down and all around. And trust me, you're gonna need to remember them a lot. Alright, as you see here, the water level's been drained, which I've probably already said already. And I'm trying to remember if, I'm trying to remember if, if there's, there's a way I can go, but I'm not sure if it's this way or the other way. I, I think it's this way. Alright, I'm gonna need some bombs and also uh, and also equip my uh, iron iron boots. Don't be silly now, right? Bombs. Right, drop there. Move out of the way, Link. And there we go. Down we go. Down, down we go. In here. Uh, and as you, if you notice, we can't use any other weapon besides the hook shot underwater. Now, turn around, please. Good. Floppy, don't want to deal with that now. Right. <laughs> yep. Get used to this. Because trust me, you'll be seeing you'll be seeing that a lot. A lot. I run it a lot of times. Right. There's only one there's only really one reason why I'm at this spot. Oh. Alright, you'll see in a minute. Just gotta hook onto that. And these are tech tights, I believe they're called. Blue tech tights, I'm sorry, blue tech tights. And then there are those specific what specific colour specific specific coloured ones. Right. Now, how? Now I'm gonna, gonna remember how you open the door. Hmm. Oh wait! Oh wait a minute! Duh! This is this this is where Din's it's, is where Din's fire comes in handy. You use Din's fire, it will it will hit that switch on the other, other side and let us through. Uh. I swear this is how it's supposed to work. If not, then there's only one. Okay, hold on. I don't know. There you go. Spin attack. Now, for lower Pete, don't you dare change. Don't you dare change. Well, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, <laughs> gold scotilla. That's pretty much the main reason why I came here. Just for the gold scotilla. Okay, I was wrong. Don't use the spinner. You have to use the spin attack. My bad. I was think, I was trying to think. You know, that's the thing. That's the thing about me. You, you never think of the obvious way. You always have to think of the most complicated way of doing things. It's like, it's like, it's like. There's a, there's a, it's like there's a door here. You can open. That you can open. You can open. You, you can open, but you can't open it. I want, but there's no key. It's like there must be a key somewhere. There has to be a key. There has to be a key, but then all, 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 all the answer is just literally just knock the door down. It's like, oh, I overcomplicated things as always. I I always tend to overcomplicate things. All right, keep going up. There we are. Right. Now let's get, now let's actually get a proper way without taking a detour. I, I literally I literally went that way just so I can. Uh, just so I can get my hands on on that on that on that golden sculptor, just so just so I can knock some knock one off the list. Now I don't exactly know that's proved the problem is though that's the only only gold sculptor I remember. The rest in here, yeah, I don't know. I do not remember. So good luck, good luck, so good luck, good luck with me trying to find them all in this in this bloody spot. 
All right, try to remember what's try to see try to remember what's here because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need another K. I'm, 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 like, I'm not I'm not saying I'm pretty sure I'm 100 sure but there's another key I need to get before I even think about entering that door. Let's see. Right, okay, I can see I see what's going on here. Right, hit. Hit, hit that, make, and it will make the uh, water, this little water guys arrive, and then we just jump on it. Then make, make the jump over. Uh, ignore that blue tech tie. Just go, go, go on in. Right. Okay. Let's see. Let me think. Right. There's right. There's probably a switch in here somewhere. Right. Lower yourself down. Because I think there's, yep, yeah, there's a switch. Problem is, can I do that? Can I do this now, or or or, or, or did I just jump the gun? Because like I said, this place could be a little bit confusing. Let's see. What's? Let me just check. What do you do? Oh, you open that, right? Right, gotcha. But I think, but so it's telling me that's not a time limit. So what do you do to go up here without the water coach taking me away? And then I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Let's try again. Right, so if I... Okay, I need to, I need to remember to stop using the D-pad. It's honestly, hardly any games on the Nintendo 64 use the D-pad. And every time I see a menu, my my gut instincts is all... Is, I've done it again. And my gut instincts has always been, use the D-pad. I don't know why it's, I have to use the D-pad. It's just what I do. Don't see menu. No, use the control stick. Use the D-pad. That's probably the best way to, way to do it. Right. Open different there. Oh God. Right. And, and also, you pick get the boots off before you get the boots off right before right before you uh, you get hit by the the uh, shell blades. And bingo. That's this is what we're here for. Another key. Good thing I came this way. Right now, this 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 one here just opens the door so we can get out. But the second I go down, shell blades are, shell blades are gonna go and hit me. And look at that nice uh, nice nice upshot in there. Right down we go. This I wouldn't be surprised if this one takes me the longest to beat. But uh, I hope, I, hope, I hope, in my head I've always remembered where this one key is because I like I spent for ages in this temp in this temple trying to find this one key and I couldn't find it. I had to look it up. Yeah, I admit it, I had to look it up, I don't care. But now I ever since that I've memorized that. But you tech new tech go away because you're gonna push me off if I if I do it wrong. Alright, do this. Grab onto that and there we are. Back Back through here, and also, I guess, put the boots on. Ain't that shocking? Well, there's probably a bright side to bright side to this. The second I'm done with this dungeon, it's time. I'm not. I'm not going to the next dungeon. Kind of. Uh, it's time. It's going to be. It's going to be time for side quest galore. Oh, what? <laughs> of course. Boots on. Because apparently it can't be that simple going up here. We have to go and be wearing boots. Um, get your hook shot. Look up. Uh, get a bit, a bit twitchy there. Look up. There you are. And, and that's how we're supposed to get out because the water doesn't reach all the way to the top. Right, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. That's it because one of the other ways we can't even can't even go through yet. We can't even go through at all until we get the dungeon item. Anyway, through here. Right, nowhere to go. Look up. Let's see. Let's see if there's a way through. Yes, there is. Right, and I believe there's also a gold scatilla in this room, I think. But it also, but it requires the scarecrow song, which you know I haven't activated yet because I tried it and it didn't work. And as usual, see the see these see these um things here. Get you know the Zelda's lullaby, and they and there you go. I remember what I said about that for always win will come in handy in this in this place. 
Just put it in one. If you if we put that throwers in one certain spot, it will make your life a whole lot easier. All right. So now we just go back down. Swimming back down as you don't don't you dare land on the spikes. Oh well, solid link it up. You're walking in the spikes until we get to the hole. No, this is this is the key I couldn't find for the longest time. Bit of a dickish place to put put, put it because just as the camera changes, you're supposed to see that there's a hole down there, but they just do it so quickly you just think, uh, it's nothing. Right now, down here is where a bunch of enemies are going to show up. So hit that. Get on, get to locking on, and just start using, st and start using your, using. Uh, no, can I lock onto the rocks, please? No, go away, spikes. I mean, that's a very unoriginal name, but hey, I ain't complaining if, you, if it's effective. Hey. For some reason, they always drop bombs for some reason. Huh. Interesting. Right now, it's time for you. Now it's time for you, blade, blade. Shoot the thing, Link. We need to need to hurry up. Right uh, there, you go. And that should open the other way, which is the way we actually need to go. But it was blocked because we needed to kill enemies. And then back up we go. And. Uh, Ugh. Out of water. Somehow this tunic allows us to make it allows us to breathe, but uh, I'm not gonna complain now. But here we are. Yep, the other key. The one key that I just couldn't find for the life of me for the for the life of me during my first playthrough. Trust me, there's always gonna be that one that that one first playthrough when you just literally could not find that key and you're like, Where is it? Where's the key? But trust me, that's all that, trust, trust me, that's always gonna happen. But yeah, and now that, and now that's done, and there's a a, a a very close zoom up on the Hylian shield, and a very close zoom up of linking links back, and then uh, now it's back to normal. But yeah, go up here. If you look up, that's oh, actually we can't get up there. We just need eat, actually no, can we get up there? We just need to this is the uh, that yeah, that is too far. It's too far away, but. We can't reach it, so not to mention any, it's, it's just always, you know, locks, which is kind of dickish. But hey, I'm the one who I'm the one who designs the game. Come on, hit that pot, Link. I believe I'm not sure if it's, if it's this way we need to go, or is this, or is this just a setup for something? Oh, I just want just very quickly, just so I can remind myself, just so I can, just because I know there's a there's a, there's a block on here push before I like, you know, get there. Can't get there, can't can't do that one yet. So uh, well, there's a door there, which I imagine I can't, which I imagine that's the way I have to go through. So, so uh, so I was right to go, I was right to go this way, and also the uh, pots respawned. Ain't that nice? Honestly, it's probably full of it's probably full of arrows because of the uh, that you know that eyeball we saw down below down below in the water. Yeah, you, you can only shoot those ones with you can only shoot those one those you can only shoot those ones with you know the uh, the oh oh I see oh this is oh this is just a way to the hmm, okay never mind right just gotta do this right because this is this will go instantly. I think that'll work. Well, you're not close enough. Ah, uh, what? I didn't do that. Link, throw you four. What is? What did they keep going? Tell me bombs. I'm not. I'm holding it. Ready? Let go. That's better. Now it's going to. Yeah, let's see it here. Open it. Open it. Open it. Now this is just a compass, anyway. So really, we just came up here for, for, for a compass. Oh look at that! It's, oh look at that! It's the compass. It's a little bit too early. It's a little, it's a little, oh look at that! It's a bit too early there, but it's like I know, it's like I know, it's like I know what's in that chest before, right? 
So that way it was just for a compass, so technically that way is kind of useless to go through. There wasn't even any gold scatillas there, so that makes it even more of a waste. So that means that there's only one way to go through. Straight forward to the left. Hold on. Make sure. Double checking. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's the only way. Yep, that's 100% the only way we can go through. Right through here. Opening the door. Right. Oh, this bit. Hmm. I can either. I can, let's see. I can either use my bow and arrow, but I can save my. I can save my arrows and just do this. Fine. Bow and arrow. It, bow and arrow. It is then. Here, here. Bow. Here's the bow, and there's and there's the switch. In the arrow. Okay. Too too far away from me as usual. Right, there's a, there's a blue tech type. Okay, that was close. Usually that thing hits me off, but, uh, haha. <laughs> You're not gonna hit me off this time. Right, then I need to get the ocarina out again, don't I? Right. Ocarina! Right, and, um, what I'm going to. And here is where I'm pro. or I'm going to be using my Fiora's Wind. It's gonna take up a lot of my magic points, but but then again, I already did waste it when I used Din's fire. But trust me, this is worth. This it will be worth it. So, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? Din's the freaking Fiora's wind is right there. So pretty much here. Put down, press down, and th and this here's what happens. A warp point that will come very handy, very handy later on. And I'm going to put it on the bow and arrow just in case I don't waste it. 